So about the Hunter Valley, perfect example. Um, Albo did a very good job of reselling uh, Bill Shorten's energy policy at the last election. Pretended that the hundreds of thousands of jobs were going to fall from the sky and there'll be no added costs whatsoever. And in fact, there'll be a reduction in power prices while we go through that transition period. Actual reality, and they had the document, there's a lot more pain coming for places like the Hunter Valley. Yeah, Muzzlebrook Singleton, a sharp increase in unemployment forecast if they continue down the path of net zero and wiping out coal mines and coal-fired power. And Paul, you've only got to look at the economic data. The basic truth in a place like Muzzlebrook is that three out of every five homes are coal income dependent, either directly or indirectly. So you go down any random street and it's coal house, coal house, coal house, non-coal, non-coal, which is as heavy a concentration of employment on a particular industry as you'll find in any part of the country. So there is no soft landing, there is no easy economic transition for a place like Muzzlebrook or also Singleton in the Upper Hunter where they're so reliant on coal jobs and the alternative proposals that have been put forward are laughable. Uh, there are outfits in the Hunter Valley saying, oh, the alternative here is to fill in disused uh, coal pits with water for water sports employment. Well, that's just the joke. Or floating windmills off the coast of uh, Newcastle. You just can't turn the Hunter Valley into a rust bucket region like we see in the United States where the parents are unemployed and the kids are on drugs. So we've got to um, abandon the so-called transition and stick with the things that work. Coal is good for energy security. If we had uh, coal-fired power going forward, we wouldn't have these projections of a 50% increase in electricity prices. So the government, at a practical level, has got to see the sense in that. But, of course, Matt Keane has this dual responsibility, or had uh, until he became the Treasurer, where he's across energy, he's across environment, now he's into the money man and still, of course, has the hand in energy. He, because he only wants to get the donations of the future billionaires and he wants the career insurance if he loses his seat to a teal to go off and work for this sector, you've got a government that has no interest in doing what you just talked about and a Labor Party that is, again, faux green and can just assume that, oh, well, they voted for Albo, so they'll vote for us. Well, that's why the election in March matters and One Nation is running on an alternative of nuclear power, coal-fired power, gas-fired power and renewables without the subsidies so that New South Wales could be a global energy superpower. The more supply, obviously the greater the energy security and the lower the prices.